I'm Dom Dehan, I'm the team principal of Team Redline, uh, one of the most successful virtual racing teams in the world. So I was a sim racer, I really enjoyed it, I started on Toka 2 in something called Grand Prix Legends, and essentially at that time you started to get setups and uh, looking at replays, and I got a lot of our competitors together, and uh, we formed a team, and we've gone from strength to strength racing on virtually every single racing game since. When I first started, you only had Grand Prix Legends to have kind of multiplayer online, and used to do it through a 28.8K modem, and cars were flickering all over the place. You know, but at that time, that was awesome. I was racing against somebody over my phone line. Now, on thing, platforms such as iRacing or R Factor 2, you can have up to 60 to 100 people online sometimes, and you also have driver swaps, and there's hardly any latency, for most of them anyway. But it's just a completely different thing, and it's much more collaborative, especially with uh, GT racing and, and all of that. I mean, we've always um, been fr friends and family with sim racing fraternity, certainly where we're, we're from. Uh, we've always had a very much a huge strength to field with our, with our drivers. Certainly Gregor is quite a famous driver. He's been kind of number one across all sims for the past 16 years. I don't know how he does it. But over the last five or so years, we've started to have a lot of real drivers join us, either for training or practice, such as Richie Stanaway, Max Verstappen, Nick Katzberg, Kelvin Van der Linde, all big names within real motor racing and they use us as their kind of platform for training and it's, it's good for them. So we, we're seeing a real crossover between sim racing and real racing and that's great. We have fans, certainly on backing, we had you know existing fans, but certainly on the back of uh, you know having Max and Richie and, and the guys join, our, our fan base grows, but it, it's still an evolving thing. We still are you know growing our fan base and I think with big events such as this Formula E, Formula e event, you're just going to get more and more people fans of the genre. It's really heading into that kind of esports territory. Well, I think our short-term goal is, is uh, to beat, um, to win the World Championship. So we're currently five times World Champions in the iRacing World Championships, that probably the highest level in, in virtual racing. So we want to win that. There's also a large Blanc Pan Championship as well that we want to win. But actually, we've got GT Sport coming. We've got a really strong GT team. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. And there's a lot of other players on the scene, there's Project Cars, there's Forza, there's a set of Corsa. All of these racing games, they all need to leverage esports, and we want to be a part of all of that.